Happy Monday. It's the locker room. And Happy. it's like, I know, a mix and match of world football topics today. As the final tickets to Russia 2018 are being stamped or not being stamped, for that matter. We have the soccer ball to look back on, too. So, coming up on today's show, we will be talking World Cup qualifying, the NASL final, some love for the goalkeepers, and the top five goals. Ray Hudson, Christine Vieri, Thomas Rongen, and Gareth... Uh, Gareth Bale. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, that was fun. <laughs> We are talking about Gareth Thanks, Bale a little later on the show. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. <laughs> uh, listen, it's a topsy-turvy day. It was a tense night at the San Siro for Italy. They faced Sweden in the second leg of World Cup qualifying, their playoff. And for the first time since 1958, we will not be seeing Italy oh, in the World oh Cup finals. Christian oh Vieri. Dear. Got tears the size of pineapple chunks running down his face before this show. I feel like many no of us No World did, Cup without Italy. I'm going to boycott no the United States, no Netherlands. You put a Jack Daniels, I asked. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. for me. <laughs> Christian, where does the blame lie? Wow. I, listen, if I need three, four hours. But we ain't got three, four hours, right? What am I going to say? I'm shocked. Uh, it's, we don't go to the World Cup. It's, it's crazy. But I have to say one thing. In the two games that we saw against Sweden, I think we don't deserve to go to the World Cup. I think we didn't do enough. For two years, we've, we've watched this team. They, 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 you know, not as an Italian, as an Argentine, as an Englishman. <laughs> but I watched this team, and they have never compelled me. They have yeah. never convinced never me. Convinced. And really have they, and they didn't seem to learn either. After Spain beat them the 3 nothing, then the fire alarms went off, right? All the alarms went off and they lurched. They just kept on spinning. There was no traction. The change of the, the personnel from this, this, this coach, who is all uh, gone, of course. But I think the big responsibility, Gary, comes mm. down to Ventura. In, in a big sure, way. Sure. And the players absolutely weren't good but enough. You, you, but the you're coach spot on. The players weren't good enough, but there was one player who can turn a match in Signe. And he comes on as a sub yeah. in the first leg, and we go, OK, no problem. He's going to start, or at worst, he'll come on right. and, and play a part. He doesn't come on at all. And he's the one I felt who could have opened things up, who could have provided a little bit of an X factor. And he never can. And I'm, again, I'm looking uh, at the coach Thomas, going, Coach, what is he doing? Interesting scenes on the bench talking about this. What Gary's talking about is that when De Rossi is told, you know, maybe you're coming on, he says, we're not playing to draw now. We need to win. Right. And points towards Insigne. So that's the players showing that they also can see there's a problem with the coach yeah, he, in that. Surely. A few things stood out to me. When when Insigne came in for Verratti, was it in the first game? Yeah, and, and he talked to his teammates and they went like, where are you going? He goes, I don't know, i got to play centrally, supposedly. You know, he, he, there was a body language there. Four or five players looking at the mm -hmm. coach right there as well. But this is not... As, as Bobo says, this is not a very good team. By the way, the last four games, one nothing at home against right. uh, against All Israel, one, -nothing one, games. one against Macedonia, sure. and zero one against Albania. Yeah. Sweden, by the way, played eight tough games: the Netherlands, Bulgaria, France as well. They were more battle tested. And by the way, they got guys to play in the Arabian you Gulf could, Coast. Right. Okay, so how did Conte manage to do so well with a lesser team? You could argue in the Euros last year. I think the coach has to be the boss. He has to know what he's doing, and everyone has to follow him. Maybe in the, these two years, this didn't happen. Right. Conte mm. is very hard. Yep. He wants, he has, his, he has his idea, and that's the way he's gonna go. I think he changed too many times the formation. Sure. sure. You know? But the thing is, I wanna say is that the group stage, we knew that we were gonna rank second, okay? Because Spain is too strong for us, okay? Sure, so sure. this is the place where we're supposed to be in the playoffs. But we thought that the two games would have, you know, Italy would have done more. You have, sure. you cannot just defend the whole game. You've got to yeah. attack. Yeah. Even if you have a, an amazing defense, but you just can't wait got for them. Yeah. You just can't wait. You've got to go attack. When you have the ball, you've got to go attack. You're really, you're supposed yeah. to have the players to go attack. And, and, and I think yeah. that we had one, one chance after two minutes in yeah. Sweden, and that that's it. it. That's it. And it, it wasn't like you're unlucky. There's two blatant no. handballs that weren't given. Chiellini should have got a second yellow. For he's, both sides. He's, for both. Yeah, Italy yeah. And but I mean, there's no way Italy can say, oh, we were unlucky, no. we were robbed. They had no. all the decisions. Some but here's, here's the thing for me. I'm sad because we probably, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but you probably have seen the last of Buffon. Y yeah, he's, he's announced he's it now. Yeah. He just announced and, and it. And the yeah. Bonucci, who, by the way, is having a shocking season. Bonucci, De Rossi. How many great players are we going to... Have we seen the last Hopefully of today? Hopefully Candreva as well. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the other thing is that at home today, 
I think with 75,000, of course they're not going to play, but they're going to push you. Mm. And I think mm. that they didn't start the way they were supposed to start. If okay. I'm the, the team, the coach, I'm going to say, you know what? We've got to keep them over there. We've got to go press them. Right. We've got to make them kick the ball because there's only one striker up front. Yeah. Get the ball and put pressure on them. Go play on the wings yeah. and put pressure the yeah. whole 90 minutes. Then what happens, what happens? But we didn't do that. We were just like playing not slowly. Really. Like, and, and we, like the draw was okay for us. You know, and I, it's not enough for an Italian right. team. You, you have to even give, it, even we didn't have a chance tonight. One on one with the goalkeeper. Yeah. All shots from outside. You, 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 how can you win games like even that? Even at half time, sure. I thought, you know, the, the, the nervousness, the, 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 the weight of that blue shirt in San Siro, you know, where they've never lost, you know, for God knows how long. Uh, it, it was, you know, you can, can't understand it from an Italy team, but there was that element. But at half time, Thomas, doesn't it change? Right. I didn't see any any sort right. of a change. It was just, it was, you know, lobbing balls into the and, middle. And, it was and, like bloody England uh, 20 years uh, ago. Last week we talked about uh, England, the 3-5-2. And, and we all agree that players determine the system, yeah. not sure, the yeah. other way around. Yeah. Right. This yeah. team was set up perfectly like a Roma Napoli out of a 4-3-3. And, and Ball was set up. Listen, they play with one. Play two versus one right That's here. It. Get sure, two attacking sure, fullbacks. Sure. And they're going to play a the goal. And then Push let the two wide players become wingers. Right. And all of a sudden Sweden now can sit in. Right. They've got to get stretched right. and now you could sense with tactically just uh, I'm too incredibly scared, Thomas, when you're too scared that's how you that's ignore. the key yeah. too scared they sometimes they didn't even have a strike and though we had three in the back yeah right. and then what I think is that in the national team you've got to play who's in form in that sure, moment sure you've got Insigne and Esharawi yeah. they've been amazing Agreed. in this area you could see Sharawi when he came on yes, those sir. 25 minutes yep. for me he came on too late yeah because at the end of the first second half no changes yeah. Yeah. Belot, you got to put him straight away. Hey, Shirao yeah. Insigne. You you, I think they're just too scared. Like, let's see what happens 20 minutes sure. to the end, half an hour to but, the end. But what about Sweden? I mean, sh to be fair to Italy, and Italy didn't play well. Can I do a quick well, one on Sweden? Because we've got a we really good yeah. yeah. We're going to talk about Sweden. Sweden. Sweden didn't give them one moment. Yeah. Not one error, not one mistake in two legs. And they made it very difficult for Italy. Italy so couldn't rise to the occasion. Do you think that then difficult. makes questions of UEFA qualifying, the way they've done it this year, that if you do oh, finish no. second in your group, or can you not look at that? No, I don't think it's the way it is. I mean, Sweden were at the essence of a team. Mm. Everything about them was a team. Yeah. You look at France, yeah. it's the same. You look at Spain, it's the same. Uh, and, and this team has talent. It wasn't utilised anywhere near how it should have been. Can I say something else? Yeah. The Italian team. Like, when you, you want to play long balls, it's okay. But when you play long balls, the midfielders have to be 10 metres <coughs> behind the strikers. Mm. Yep. They can't be 30 meters. Right. Because if they don't get it, the Swedish are going to get the ball. The, the our midfielders weren't even going up. Weren't even putting pressure, like, sure. weren't even staying behind I, you know our what? strikers. Uh, we, never, we never this, happened. We could, we could pick this apart all day, but I was looking for a, like a Baggio or a Pielo yeah. or a Cassano, a player of that sort of craft. Yeah. He well, was there, he was on the bench. Right, he was there, he was on the bench. Perfect. He but hey, listen, so what, give what? Sweden some credit. Yeah, we will, and we'll talk about the, Sweden next the summer. And honestly, we'll get to it. They've done amazing. But right now, we must concentrate on Italy and what's mm -hmm. happened. There's going to be plenty of time to talk it, about Sweden. What I'm going to say is Sweden's got five guys playing in Sweden. That tells me that Italy stinks. It's not good enough. Not even close. Because I want to stick with the coach right now. You say that not utilising the talent properly, Ray. Yeah. There's so many coaches yeah. in Italy. We're seeing how well they're doing on the... On the yeah. scale in the leagues across mm. the world, Conte, Ranieri, Di Francesco, mm. all these coaches. Why was Ventura the man for the Italian job? They're all coaching job? teams too, by the way. So you can't get a coach that's coaching a team. I think they went with a guy that's 70 years old, has experience, but not international yeah. experience. Yeah. I yeah. think you need a, another sort of coach. Uh, but let me tell you one thing. We can, like, we can blame the coach. Okay. He's, he, he, he's tactical stuff. Deservedly. Players. Deservedly. Okay. But... I go on the field. I play. Yeah. When I play, I don't even listen to the coach what he tells me. Don't worry. Let me do what I have to do. You know what I mean? So the players have to step up as well. Because sure, sure. you're playing right. for that blue shirt. That blue shirt, like you said, is a very heavy shirt. <clears throat> so it's not easy to play, but you've got to give more. All the players have to give more. Would more is... Yeah. You've got to give everything... Would you, would you not say now that the talent this, this, this year... For Italian players, is the worst you've probably seen oh, in 30 to 40 years. Gary, after it's, it's 2006, way, I mean, you go back to yeah, 2006 our generation was a good finished, team. yeah, and we haven't had big players since. I don't know why, because you can't have. Is we've had talent for 40 years. Yeah. Let, let me ask you, 40 years. Talent. 40 Great years. Talent, yeah. Now we're in a situation where we haven't got 
great talent. The Serie A is becoming higher because we have a lot of teams that are getting better, but we haven't got good Italian players that can play for the national team. One thing's playing for the Serie A, Ray. Yeah. Yeah. One thing's playing Serie A, they're scoring goals in the I Serie A. Okay, yeah. one thing, when, let me tell you one thing. I told you, when I played, the, I used to play all the Italian yeah. games, Champions League, and I was okay. When I played the two World Cups and for the national team, the day before, I was okay. The morning, my heartbeat was already yeah. faster. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yeah, sure. So that's, that sure. makes you think. Sure. You're playing for that blue team. Right. It's not Inter Milan. That's okay. Yeah. Right. yeah the yeah. blue team yeah. is different. Sure, sure. And just waking up in the morning and preparing yeah. a World Cup, my heart rate was already higher. Yeah. yeah. So what does that mean? That right. means tension. And one thing's playing for your club. One thing's playing for the national. And when you have a, a team like Italy, Brazil, sure, Argentina, sure. those big teams, Germany, it's different. It's different. It's not, play, it's not like playing for what, your club. And you're right. What I miss with this Italian team, if you look back all the way back to the years that you're talking about, there were two or three over your dead body defenders, right. tough, hard nosed, up front guys that could dish it out, like Bobo Fieri, guys that wanted to sacrifice. Uh, there was no desperation in the last 20 minutes. You're going to be desperate, you're going to be hard, you're going to throw things forward, you're going to make it hard but on them. You the know, crowd was out of it. I, I, it was just a weird, weird mm, game. Mm. The Italy of, of yesteryear looks as if it's, I don't want to say it gone, but there, there are players perhaps as well that I think, in retrospect, to look at the Gagliardini's. Uh, the, the, those types of players, young players, that maybe, maybe now in retrospect, uh, Insigne molded into this team, folded into this team a lot more, you know, successfully in games gone yeah. past, and and this is what's happened. I mean, this is catastrophic for world yeah. football. I mean, this World Cup is going to be diluted now, especially in this country now that the United States aren't in, and then Italy's not there. It, it, is it time, be one is of the it time for push the reset button in of Italy? Course, is it time to look at your youth the development? Federation. Is it time the Federation well, should have been looked at should, first? The president should resign. Am I correct? After is that what you said? After today, yep. president of the Federation, first thing, has to resign. The coach probably will. He's not going to coach sure, the sure, national sure. team. All. But the president has to resign. You've got to get young, young people, young people that know about football in, in the mm -hmm. Italian Federation. Well, Enough no. with these. Uh, You're not there. No. Next yeah, summer, but here out. Out. Arrivederci. Arrivederci, Chris. Very Vieri. similar to the US, you, you've said, Bob. Get football people and in those you. positions. You get Holland. People. What about Holland? You've got to get you people. Know, you, gotta, uh, you need a change. But listen, this brings Bob. it Last home. Point, we're looking at go the United break. States, and we're all very sad about the States. That was, in its own way, it's a catastrophe. Doesn't compare to this one. Of course. In Italy, all Italy Holland, it it's a catastrophe. But doesn't it make football? Isn't that what it's about? Is football, every once eh? in a while. Sir Alex Ferguson. Yeah, football or soccer. Doesn't it? Isn't that no, what it's about? Is nobody's guaranteed? No, England's Gary, been out Gary. before. But England, England's always out. They don't do mean, nothing England's in the World Cup. Yeah, Come even on. when the rings are out. Yeah, when but England can change things at the grassroots now, and things are starting to look better. So maybe there's something. It's going to happen like that in Italy right now. Maybe this is a way to They have good players. They have good players now. I'm just starting to realise that I'm actually worse shape than you are. The US <laughs> and the Netherlands. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. think you're good? <laughs> so is, we better move on oh, before no it gets too sad. Holly, no one knows about the US soccer. Yeah, go on. Go on. Yeah, 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 Welcome back to The Locker Room. Now, before we speak about the situation with Gareth Bale, we'd just like to mention the San Francisco Deltas becoming the 2017 NASL champions last night with a 2-0 win over the New York Cosmos. And I'd just Who like to mention them? that only one person uh, picked the San Francisco uh, Deltas. Kim Murray, what a lass. <laughs> I did my research, consistent through the whole season, and it was paying off last night. Oh, look at the, what happened Thomas. there. We were on this game last <laughs> night. Did you see that? <laughs> and it was pretty tense. We saw a bit of fighting oh on God. the pitch too, Thomas. It really yeah, was pretty I mean, tense. And we Canadian saw the international two goals too. right oh, there. And in the face gets a penalty. <laughs> clearly, this is a penalty without sure a doubt. Is. Sure. Yeah, Heidemann stepped Neil up Don. to take this one. He had nine goals in the season, steps up, and the big occasion puts this middle, one away. Straight down the middle. He's been so influential, the leading goal scorer for the Deltas in their first year, K. You picking them, which is unbelievable. Yeah. Great story for a San Francisco-based team. 
But this game was a tough affair towards the end when Mr. Sandoval. Oh, okay. oh. People are going down. That's, that's no penalty, that one. <laughs> <laughs> and there you that can see what it means kick. as well. So congratulations to Mike Santos and the San Francisco Deltas yeah, on yeah. that one. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, great fun as penalty. well and great yeah. to cover one, the NAS. Two. <laughs> Shit. 2 0, it finished. Okay, word on the street, or should I say La Calle, is that Real Madrid have slapped a $110 million price tag on Gareth Bale. The Welshman's latest injury puts him out of action until January, and that unfortunate injury record is said to be behind this decision. Do the panelists agree? Do the panel agree here that it would be the right move to offload Bale for a good price right now if you could? I would say on one condition that they spend the money on getting somebody quick shot like Obama Young was before the start of the season. Uh, you can't sell bail and yeah. not replace him like I've done with all the other It'll stars. It'll have to be, I, mean, I think there'll have to be something in place. You're looking at the De Gea. Yeah, that could be Possibly, an you know, getting the money and spend it on the goal. But it has to be a striker Chelsea, as well, doesn't Hazard, it? Hazard, it'd be another influence. Uh, PSG, Neymar. Now all you're talking. You know, Only all of this. Uh, Griezmann, Atletico Madrid, mm -hmm. that might be a bridge too far, but... Uh, I hope Gareth stays, but he's injured again. He's yeah. out for he's another. Go to the, only some English team can buy him. Yeah, we we'll, we'll spend 110 million for Man United. For a Madrid uh, now. Ni 19 injuries. He's wow. played 140 uh, uh, games in five years, which means Terrible. a million plus every game he it's, plays. It, it is, I mean, it's, it's very been, sad. Yeah. It just it seems that there are some players who just do suffer but with injury he, like okay, this. Okay, but did he did he produce the goods? I mean, yeah, he I won just the, simple won the Champions question. League, scored the Absolutely. Goal. Yeah. Yeah. He won two Champions League, yeah. good too. La Liga, Played big in Clasicos. completely yeah. in a big part of all of those wins. This yeah. was no uh, cameo performance. Right, yeah. I mean, yeah. we've got Real Madrid players that have come for big, big money and failed. Gareth Bale did right. not. He has not. And whether or not they hold faith or they cash in. I agree. I normally don't like English players. But he's played good with Real Madrid, Welsh, I have to say. Yeah. He's made them Maybe it's because he's Welsh and not English. I mean, Maybe I mean, that's well, why you same. like him. Because he looks always set throughout this whole the BBC, I, oh my I, guys. And, they, and they will love him yeah. at United. They should have sold him in the off-season and kept Morata. Yeah. That's Absolutely. what they should have done. You'd take him at United? Oh, absolutely. I think we, we actually went to Perisic at the start of the season. And they, they had him lined up and then eventually stayed at Inter. Because I'm not quite happy with Anthony Martial. So Bale, as long as he's fit, would be a fantastic... Yeah, he You know what move Nabil... Fekir from yeah. Lyon. Yeah, good, good match player. as well. Zidane okay. loves him, by the way. Good Listen, we're player. talking about attacking players there, but we had a rare weekend where goalkeepers gave us much to celebrate, actually, Gary Bailey. So they seeing did. as though we gave one of our forwards a lot of love in the oh, hey. show, this week we're celebrating our own goalkeeper, Gary <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> Look and we Bailey. found this excellent footage. Get on, my Lord. Hey, here we go. Hey, 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 hey. He's wow. gone nuts. He's gone nuts. He's gone nuts. He's gone nuts. You've got to understand how... No, 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 we don't know. Look at his hair. Look at his hair. Oh, oh pretty, pretty boys, what pretty, pretty boys. Yeah, what a that. Yeah. Pictures from the mystery man. Oh, this was the FA Chelsea. Cup final. I want to see a save. I want to see a save. Against, there he is. That was against Brighton in yep. the FA Cup final. And his best save is up, coming up. Oh, there that one go, was brave, another one. Brave, brave and there was double. another. Oh that was God. a double one, but there's one after that as well, was right it? at the end. What? Have you seen this rock? Was 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 oh, look at this! Wouldn't look it? at this! You must, have, you must have searched hard to find those. <laughs> there we go. Guys. You brought him in. What are you talking about? He brought in his own film reel. I saw him. Here he is. Here he is. One more time. Two goalkeeping moments in the top plays of the weekend, and we said maybe Gary. Had well a hand in it, but it actually was a good it's weekend a for goalkeepers. So we're giving a clap to our Gary Bailey. Thank Gary you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enough because when he came, he had big, big expectations on that stage, uh, in, in, in that team, at that club, at that time. Yeah. His accomplishments really are very, very. Under so. We Under knew that Ray loved goalkeepers, right. really. Okay, it's what true. I loved, Thank we've got right. one that caused a few belly laughs today, but we're bad people here on the locker room. We really are bad people. Okay, this is the first one that we're showing you. Goalkeepers saves in hockey. Oh. Wow. You get smashed. Oh, are you kidding me? This is foot. Okay, Who is this? Coming up next, uh, wow. Rocket Rocket Red Wings or what? Coming up next might be the best what I love we've ever seen. We're just going to play. Oh, oh no! Oh. That's out of order, that kid. You look at Kim Murray's laughing. That's oh a God, that's that's terrible. That's a poor kid. Oh, hell! That wow. Is, um, I hope he's okay. Is he alright? So you think he's okay? I don't yeah. think so. The kid's oh going to be God. seeing elephants. 
Did he score though for the header? <laughs> oh, great. I mean, it's. So, oh my come on, God. keep. Come and stop showing it to her. She's going to stop. Gonna, he's not going to be a player, he's going to be a goalkeeper. This is us hey. going into Monday's locker room. That <laughs> is like we and Rooney. Actually. Who is that? We and Rooney, I think. Is it? What now is I feel terrible because everybody, uh, including me, laughed a lot more than you did on that kid getting hit right. in the head. <laughs> Wait till he gets children, K. Murray. Tom you understand? So You're, a You're a bad, bad woman. You're a bad woman. Wait. 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 The Locker Room is presented by Ford. Go further. Our top five goals are brought to you by Ford, and it's an international special here, thanks to the World Cup qualifiers we've been able to offer this weekend. In at number five, Gary Bailey, it's Milton Kabisa from Uganda. Uganda. Now, I'm saying that he meant this. Now, no one's going to believe me, not even the player himself, because he was looking to cross it, but I'm going to say that he's going to claim he meant it. A cross that yeah, sort of had right. a bit of bend on it, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Nah, yeah. he's gone for the far post, a lot of the far post. But you Let's know what? We'll give it to him. In at number four, Ray Karamokoba. Karamokoba. Karamogola. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful from the Guinean International with his spiffy strip. Take a look at it again. One touch to control. Doesn't need it. Outside of the foot. You think on his made? right. Think Absolutely. It's a rainbow goal, Bobo. Rainbow. Pot of gold at the end. Magic. You've got to start nice with that hair. <laughs> okay, Christian, John Ogu, Nigeria. Okay, look at this shot from outside the pool. I, I, I didn't really choose that because I can't. I can't. <laughs> I cannot lie. You cannot I lie. can't. I can't lie. I didn't choose this goal. I will never choose a goal. Is this the first time you've seen the goal? That's a nice this goal. This is a goalkeeper. <laughs> what is a goalkeeper? That's a nice goal, Johnny. No. Johnny, your goal. John Ogle. Goal. A goal. A goal. Goal. And takes a deflection and the goalkeeper should okay. head it. Okay, Thomas Rangel, oh. sing the song. This is my boy Mahmoud Abdel Razik Falada. Yeah. But we know this. There's only one cheeky baller. <laughs> <laughs> Only one, one cheeky baller. But cheeky Egypt, bala. fringe cheeky players bala. getting their chance because cheeky Egypt have already qualified and this is them baby. taking their chance to show the coach, take me with you to Russia. Oof! There's only one cheeky baller. This is where Cooper is. Hector Cooper. Yes, he is. Okay, Christine, you can have my goal. It's Marcelo for Brazil with oh, his right foot. Watch this. A la derecha, eh? Ah, oh, right, this, this is my goal. I know, I know. But he scores with his right foot, Marcelo. Oh, yeah. Always, yeah, yeah. Right. This Different is fantastic. Class, yeah. What a player this one is. Even a blind. This, yeah. this yeah. is the World Cup team, man. Eh? Even yeah. a blind squirrel finds it not once in a while. And Japan also going to the World Cup. Nice to watch World Cup teams, eh, Christian? Brazil's going to win it. <laughs> oh, oh, I was going to make a bold prediction that Ooh, Holland and please Italy please wouldn't be in uh -huh. Russia 2018 Whoa. next summer, but it's not so bold no. anymore. Oh, Sorry, guys. No. It's, oh, rough. it's reality. It is. It I is. Believe and it's very and sad. USA. And let's, we're very sad leave. here that the USA are out as well. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back. We have World Cup qualifying continuing this week here on Be In Sports. Join us for that and make sure you join us for the locker room on Friday when we'll look back on all of it. See you then. I'm really depressed now. The Locker Room is presented by Ford. Go further.